Hello and welcome to Sips and Stories. My name is Elizabeth and in today's video I will be showcasing my Mina Lima collection. I absolutely adore these books. I have been collecting them for the past few years and they are some of my favorite books in my entire book collection. They are designed and illustrated by famous design team Mina Fora Mina and Eduardo Lima, who are the famous graphic designers behind the Harry Potter franchise. So they are best known for creating the Marauder's Map and the Daily Prophet and a lot of those cool, unique designs for the Harry Potter movies and the theme parks as well. But what is so cool about Mina Lima is that a few years ago, they partnered with HarperCollins to come out with a collection of childhood classics. And you guys know how much I love childhood classics. These are absolutely phenomenal. They have committed to 12 books in the series. And the first, of course, is Peter Pan by J.M. Barry, which was published in 2015. And the last in the collection to date is The Wizard of Oz by L. Frank Baum. Each one of these books is more unique and special than the last. They have beautiful color illustrations and interactive elements such as cardboard cutouts and fold out maps. They would make really terrific gifts for children and adults like me that collect books. I absolutely love these books. Most recently, they have also been coming out with each edition of the Harry Potter books as well, which is really exciting. I think if you are a Harry Potter fan, these are a must for your collection. And it is very fitting since they did so much of the artwork for the movies that they would go back and design the books as well. Price point on these books is really great. They retail anywhere from $25 to $35. Um, I do recommend buying them in person at your local bookstore and not buying them online because they're very fragile and the corners can get damaged easily. So I only bought one Alice in Wonderland on Amazon and that was kind of a mistake. So the money that I saved with buying it on Amazon was a disappointment to me when it arrived damaged. So I'll just put that out there. Try to buy these in person at your local bookstore. So without further ado, grab your favorite beverage as I discuss my Mina Lima collection. The first book in the series is, of course, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone or Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. This one is absolutely gorgeous. It came out in October of 2020 and it was a real treat for a lot of Harry Potter fans like myself. The design is beautiful and again, it is fitting since they did so much artwork for the movies that they would go back and design the books. As you can see, the interactive elements are amazing. One of my personal favorites is Harry's letter from Hogwarts. The attention to detail on this one is so much fun. And of course, Diagon Alley, how great is that? Here is the fat lady's portrait. What is hidden behind? Gryffindor common room, of course. And finally, what is inside Coral's Turban? You'll just have to pick up this book to find out. It came out in 2020. The next book in the series, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, came out last year in 2021, just in time for Christmas again. So I think that's going to be a regular thing. These books will come out just in time for Christmas. This one I think is even more fun than the first um, with over 150 color illustrations and nine interactive elements, such as this one, the burrow, and this one, the flu powder, Whomping Willow, of course, and the mandrakes. This one is one of my favorites. And again, just even the chapter titles are beautiful. And finally, the Chamber of Secrets. I think this one is my favorite. This edition came out in 2021. Next up are the children's classics. The first in the series was published in 2015, 
Peter Pan by J.M. Barry. Mina Lima has committed to publishing 12 of these books. They are published by Harper Design, an imprint of Harper Collins. I absolutely love Peter Pan, to be honest. It's one of my favorites just because of those pastel colors and the artwork, the graphic design in this one is stunning. And like all of Mina Lima's books, it has a number of interactive elements and beautiful chapter headings and full page color illustrations. Here's one of my favorites, the crocodile clock. Published in 2015, this one is a must in any book collector's collection. The next book in the children's classic series is The Jungle Book by Rudyard Kipling. This edition came out in 2016. It has beautiful lush color illustrations and over nine interactive elements. I really enjoy the design of this one because it does feature that British colonialism in India. The monkeys, of course, how fun. Ka, the hypnotic snake. It also features Kipling's original fables and poems. Along with some of our favorite characters such as Mowgli, Bagheera, Baloo, and the evil tiger, Shere Khan. This edition came out in 2016. Next up is The Beauty and the Beast. This book came out in 2017 in order to coincide with the live action film starring Emma Watson. This is another beautiful addition to the Mina Lima collection and has some really gorgeous artwork. The story itself was originally translated from the original French novel, which was published in 1740. It is quite wordy and dense, so I do recommend this for older children. The artwork and the interactive elements are stunning, as you can see. It really features some beautiful graphic design work. In this version, the beast has a mother, and the fairies get a little too involved in the beast and beauty's lives, to be honest. The rose symbol is sprinkled throughout the story and it's just a beautiful addition to this collection, published in 2017. The next book is Little Mermaid and Other Fairy Tales by Hans Christian Andersen. I'm so excited because I recently learned that the next book coming out in the collection is The Grimm's Fairy Tales and Snow White. Can't wait to have both. This features over 12 of Hans Christian Andersen's original stories, including the title story, The Little Mermaid. I love the illustrations. They really pop. That number two, The Nightingale. Beautiful. Number three, The Ugly Duckling. Number four, The Swineherd. I've never heard of this story, but judging by this interactive, I cannot wait to read it. Too cute. Five, The Tinderbox. Six, The Princess and the Pea, of course. Seven, The Emperor's New Clothes. And eight, The Red Shoes. I believe this is the inspiration for the old Hollywood classic. At number nine, Thumbelina with one of the most beautiful interactives in Mina Lima history. I love 
love it. Number 10, the steadfast tin soldier. 11, the little match girl. And rounding off the collection at number 12 is the snow queen. This edition came out in 2018. Next up, we have The Secret Garden by Frances Hodgson Burnett. This version was also published in 2018. This is another great addition to the collection, and I'm so happy that they published one of my all-time favorite books. It features over 10 interactive elements, including this beautiful map of Misselthwaite Manor. Here is the robin. And the door to the secret garden. More British colonialism in India, just like the Jungle Book. And this is one of the few Mina Limas that I have actually read cover to cover, and I cannot tell you how and much I enjoyed it. The experience of reading one of your favorite books in a Mina Lima edition is unsurpassed. This version came out in 2018. Next, we have Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll. This edition came out in 2019 and features both of the original stories in one volume. The artwork in this version is very unique, not to everyone's taste, but I really enjoy it. For instance, Alice's hair is red instead of blonde. Here is the Cheshire Cat. The Mad Tea Party. Tweedledee and Tweedledum. So fun. really sinister Humpty Dumpty. That's why I'm not sure kids will love this one. But again, I enjoy it and this version came out in 2019. The Adventures of Pinocchio came out in 2020. It has been translated from the original Italian story which was first published in 1883. This edition is very unique, even for Mina Lima. The artwork is beautiful. It features over seven interactive elements. I especially love the chapter titles as the set of a play. Wow, there is Pinocchio and Geppetto in the belly of the whale. This edition was published in 2020. And the latest book in the children's classic series is The Wonderful Wizard of Oz by L. Frank Baum. This edition came out last year in 2021, and we are now up to date in the classics series, with of course the Grimm's Fairy Tales coming out later this year. This edition features nine interactive elements and beautiful color illustrations. One thing you may notice about the actual book is that Dorothy's slippers are silver instead of ruby. The ruby slippers were just a Hollywood invention. 
Here are the glasses. I've never tried them on, but I suspect there are some hidden elements in the story if you try on the glasses. The Tin Man is perhaps my favorite interactive in this version, and you can also see those sewn bindings there. Beautiful. The Fighting Trees. And the beautiful color illustrations. This is just a lovely addition of The Wizard of Oz as Dorothy and Toto were whisked back to Kansas. This version came out in 2021. Thank you everyone for joining me for my overview of my Amina Lima collection. As you can see, these are beautiful books in person. The illustrations are absolutely stunning and each book is more unique than the next. I cannot wait for the rest of those Harry Potter books to come out. I think that's gonna be an exciting Christmas present every year for the next couple of years. And I am looking forward to seeing the last books in the children's classic series. So comment below, which book would you like to see given the special Mina Lima treatment? I am personally rooting for Wind in the Willows. I think that would be an excellent Mina Lima edition with Toad and Mr. Badger and Toad Hall and his roadster. How fun would that be? Also, what about Raw Dahl, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? Am I right? That would be an excellent one as well. Thank you everyone for joining me and have a great day.